Hi guys, gals and non-binary pals, welcome back to Budget with Ira. My name is Ira. And essentially, yes, I am a 35 year old man who lives in a house that is almost completely pink. I am on a budgeting journey. I am on a budgeting journey because I am an absolute fool and I racked up over £13,000 worth of debt. Every week on this channel, I share my debt payoff progress so that me and my boyfriend can achieve our dream of owning our first home together. If you would like to support me, my boyfriend, both of us, or this channel, please consider subscribing because it makes a huge difference, not only to me, but also the channel. I post debt and budget related content twice a week and I'm really enjoying doing it. In today's video, I am cash stuffing July sinking fund and it was really, really fun for me for two reasons. One, I absolutely love payday and I love filling my sinking funds. Secondly, I'm now cash stuffing in three different currencies, which is difficult but exciting and I'm really enjoying doing it. If you'd like to know why I'm cash stuffing in three different currencies, I haven't clickbaited you with a thumbnail. Watch to watch towards the middle and you'll be able to understand why. So if you'd like to see me cash stuff in three different currencies, keep on watching. Let's go ahead and take a look in my homemade budget planner. So here we are in July's budget with my sinking funds page. I budgeted to only spend £40 on sinking funds, but because I got paid a little bit more than what I expected, I'm actually going to put £120 in. So let's take a look at this cash. So here's the cash. We've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and 20. Because the bank was closed when I went to draw out this money because I had a bit of a tough day at work, I didn't actually manage to get the correct denominations for what I needed, but I can still make it work without the five pound notes. So let's go ahead and start spending this 120 pounds. I have my sinking fund envelopes here. If you wanna know where I got this, it's from Amazon and it's linked in the description. As I explained in a previous video, I decided that I am no longer going to be paying for petrol with cash anymore. I've actually got a separate account that I will just transfer £100 into so that there's no possible way for me to overspend. So I'm going to get rid of this envelope. So the first one is Amazon Prime. I budgeted £10 and I am going to put £10 in. I've currently got 10, 20, 30, 50. This makes it £60. So I will be fully funded at £80. So. September, it'd be ready for a bill in November. Okay, moving on to birthday. So birthday is a sinking fund for me and my boyfriend. I'm not gonna spend any of this money on my birthday. I'm gonna spend it on his birthday and I'm gonna add 20 pounds in. So we've got 50, 100, 20, 40. Adding the extra 20 makes it 160. So me and my boyfriend had a conversation about this car sinking fund and we actually decided that it was actually a bad idea to do because I've got two years until I pay off the car and actually I'm probably never going to make it to be honest because my priorities are my debt and buying a house so really I'm not going to add very much into it and if you look at June I didn't actually add anything in because it just wasn't a priority for me so I'm actually going to defund this and we're going to come up with a plan together about what we're actually going to do so I'm actually going to remove this envelope so this one had £100 in it but don't worry I will put that to very good use moving over to Christmas I'm gonna put 20 pounds towards Christmas. Currently have 50, 120, and this makes it 140. Moving over to holidays. So this is the fund that would pay for flights to get to abroad holidays. We wouldn't necessarily use it for holidays within the UK because we just use that within our normal spending money because that's nothing really special. We still don't feel quite safe doing that quite yet, but I still want to be prepared and ready for it. So we're going to put £20 towards holidays. So we have 50, 100, 20, 40. And we are going to add 120. 
which gives us 50, 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60. I'd say that we're fully done when this reaches 2000, but we're not gonna be adding 120 pounds in every month. It is gonna be small amounts. Moving over to medical, so I always add five pounds into medical every single month. This is for my boyfriend's medication that costs £10 every eight weeks. So because I don't have a £5 note, I'm going to take this £5 note out and add the 10 in. And that is now fully funded for when he needs medication in the next couple of days. For the silhouette machine, this is my birthday present to myself. I'm going to add £20 to my fund for the silhouette machine. I currently have 20, no I don't, I have 50, 120. I'm gonna add 20, which makes it 140. I need to get it to somewhere near, I've seen silhouettes for 160 pounds, but they sell out really fast and I'm can't react that quick and I've seen them cheaper I'm just going to keep an eye out on eBay make sure I get one with a UK plug as well um, but I'm in no rush I just want to earn it nice and slowly so that's got 140 this is the water bill and we do 25 pounds every single month and I have 25 pounds here so the goal was to have it fully funded to £150 by July, and I now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150. We actually got a text message from the water provider two days ago to say that our bill is on its way. So I'm really excited to see how much that bill was. It's, even if it is more than 150, at least I've got this to be prepared because normally every six months we'll be completely surprised by the bill. Not sure what I'm gonna do if the bill is under 150 pounds because obviously it's our birthday month so we really should save up for it. But at the same time, it's a sinking fund, so we probably should let it roll over. But I'll let you know. If it's anything significant, I'll let you know what I'm going to do with it. So that's fully funded, ready for the bill. I'm eager to see how much the bill is going to be. Okay, so that is the sinking fund done. Obviously, we've got the emergency fund there. And you all know my views on an emergency fund right now. I just don't see it as my priority whatsoever. So... Paying off debt is my priority, so I'm gonna zero that out. So I do have two new sinking funds that I'm going to show you. I don't actually know how to record these because these are to do with holiday. So we have two new funds. One is called Malta and one is called Hawaii. Me and my boyfriend have decided that we're gonna dedicate around 30 pounds each month where we can to um, stuffing an envelope ready for when we go to holiday. Um, our two favorite places in the world are Malta, where we have family. I also have family who live in Hawaii and we love Hawaii as well. Hawaii is very expensive to get to, hence why we have just stuffed an extra 120 pounds into our holidays. So we're gonna dedicate about 30 to 35 pounds where we can, depending on the exchange rate, to stuff two envelopes. So Malta uses the euro. So this month I am stuffing 20 euros into the Malta envelope. What's the right way around? This way. And I'm also going to stuff $20 into Hawaii. And I have a dollar around the house for, I have no idea. So we now have $21. Cute. The $20 today and the 20 euros today cost me £32.92. This cost me £15.08 and this cost me £17.84. So I can track it, but I'm not really sure what the best way to track it is because 
it cost me 32.92 but do i put down that i've got 20 euros or i i don't know where to put it in my budget i think i might put it in here so instead of 100 so this all so this was 120 I actually spent 152.92. And what I can do is from next month, I can actually just have it, but instead of putting a pound sign, I put a euro sign and a dollar sign. How exciting. Amazon Prime is stuffed. It is almost ready. Birthdays is stuffed ready for my boyfriend's birthday, which is later in the month of July. I already have planned what I'm gonna buy for him. So, so this one will likely be empty ready for next month. Christmas is getting into a good place. I'm really excited about that. It's a bit behind most people, but we don't have to spend very much. Holidays is looking lovely. We've probably got enough for a European holiday, but it's not time to go yet. But we're gonna keep on funding that one because we want to go to America. Medical is fully funded for this month. Silhouette is getting to a good place and I'll buy it when I'm good and ready. Water is fully funded. Really eager to see how much that bill's gonna be. We started off the new one and we are saving up euros, ready to spend in Malta and we have $21 ready to go to Hawaii. Nothing to move to the bank, everything looks good. Guys, gals and non-binary pals, thank you so much for getting to the end of the video. I genuinely appreciate it when you watch to the end. If you haven't already, please consider liking, commenting and subscribing because that makes a huge difference to both me and the channel. Next video we've got coming up is July's check-in for week number two of the budget period. Until the next video, guys, gals and non-binary pals, have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon, bye.